Hey, Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter if you want to follow. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you how to create submodules with GitHub. Now, I did a previous tutorial where I demonstrated how submodules work and how to create them in Git. But in that example, I did everything locally. So I created uh, the, the parent repository and then created the submodule repository. I did it all with Git in it. There wasn't any push or pull to a remote repository. So in this example, what I'd like to do is demonstrate how to associate two otherwise unrelated GitHub repositories and make one the parent and make the other the submodule. I think this will be a little bit more applicable to people as opposed to just doing in it right out of the bat and doing the whole thing locally. So I'm over on GitHub and you can see I've got two repositories here. One for Surface, that's my Surface Defense. Got one frigate in there right now and I've got a list of submarines as well. I got a nuclear submarine in my arsenal. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to well, I'd like to clone this Surface repository. I want to work heavily on that, but also it's associated with submarines. So I want submarines to be a submodule that I can work on when I work with this Surface project. So I want to link these two together, make submarines a submodule of Surface. So how do you do that? Well, I've got a, a folder here called Git Example, and I'm going to open up a terminal window in that particular folder. And I guess I should probably go into my repositories. Here's the submarines repository. Here's a Surface one. I'm going to clone Surface first. So I'll copy that. Clone that repository. And there we go. Life is good. I can do a git log. Oh, actually, got to move into it first. And then git log. And there we go. We can see we've got one commit where they created the frigate. If I do ls, we've got the frigate.html file. So there we go. I've got a, a nice little clone repository. But I want to make this submarines repository a submodule of Surface. So how do I do that? Well, I get the clone URL once again. However, I go into terminal, and when I'm in terminal, making sure that I'm in the Surface Git repository, I say git submodule add, and now I put in the URL of that repository. And as you can see, all of a sudden that repository gets moved in there. A couple of other interesting things happen as well. So you notice that I've got that submarine subfolder. So that's where all the code is. But also if I do a git status, you can see that there's a new module created called git modules. That's really important. If you don't have git modules there after you've added the submodule, you're going to run into a, a problem. It hasn't worked properly. So of course, with that added in there, I also want to do a git add, git commit, and there we go. We've now got that submodule committed to that uh, to the Surface project. Now, what happens if I actually add a file here? So in the Surface Defense, I've got a frigate, but uh, you know what? It always makes sense to have a tugboat as well. So why don't I add a tugboat in there? We've added that tug. So now I've done a little bit of work on that Surface repository. Now, what if I actually want to go in and add a sub? Yeah, I've only got one nuclear sub in there. Let's add a Jai class submarine there. I think that's from the Chinese army. We've now got another file in here. I'll add that to the index and I'll commit that file. Okay, now I've got that sub added. Now, if I go back to the Surface project, now I've got this new tugboat file here. If I go in and take a look at my Surface project over on GitHub, I've only got the frigate there. And so in the project, I've got frigate and tugboat. 
Also in submarines, I've only got the nuclear submarine, but I also added that GIA class to the submodule as well. What do you think would happen if I actually did a push from surface? Do you think it would update surface and update submarines? Or do you think it would update surface only? Well, the only way to find out is to try. So I want to do a git push origin here. It says it's gonna push up to the remote repository. It says indeed it is headed over to github surface.git and the push is successful. And if I do a refresh here, Notice that I've got the reference to the module, submarines there. I've got the .git modules file. Might be interesting to take a look at that. Notice it says that there's a submodule called submarines, lists the path to it. We've got our tugboat file here. But again, in that submarines folder, I've got that gia.html file. If I come over here and update submarines, notice that it's not in there. So doing that push from the, the parent repository, it's not causing a push to the submodule there. So if you want to do a push in that submodule, I'm in the submodule now in submarines. I'm going to push from here. I'm going to come over to GitLab, GitHub in this one. I do the same thing for the same tutorial for GitLab if you're interested. And now you can see that that gia.html file is now there. So now I've actually pushed that file up. And so you can see that both of those repositories are, are working independently, even though they are indeed linked together through this submarines uh, git module linkage that you can see here on, on the GitHub user interface. And there you go. That's how you work with submodules in GitHub. And there you go. That's how you can associate one project with another project using submodules in Git and GitHub. So follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And also, if you want to learn more about Git, learn more about GitHub. I've also got some submodule remove tutorials and some uh, tutorials on how to pull a submodule the very, very first time you interact with it. Got all those tutorials over on the server side. So if you want to learn more about software development, agile development, and anything that has to do with server-side programming, head over to the server-side.com.